How to knit the Victorian boot button loops. English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Imperial Yarn, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their Erin line in the color Denim Dusk. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, knit through the back loop, purl two together, yarn over. To begin this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of 11 plus 2. Row 1. We're going to purl all stitches. Row 2. We're going to begin by knitting 2. Then we're going to start our repeat by knitting one. Then we'll slip that stitch back to our main needle and we're going to slip each of the next eight stitches over the stitch that we just slipped back. So that's two. three, four, whoops, five, six, Careful not to lose your stitch. That's seven and eight. Okay, so lots of stitches on there. We've got eight total. Now what we're going to do is yarn over our needle twice. So we've got one, two, and then we will knit into that first stitch once more. And we will finish up our repeat by knitting two. So we'll repeat this sequence all the way till the end of our row. Row three, we're going to begin by knitting one. Then we'll start our repeat by purling two together. Next we're going to drop our first loop of our yarn over here and we are going to knit into the loop then we will purl into the same loop we'll knit into it again and purl into it once more okay then we'll finish up by purling one So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the end of the row. When we reach the last stitch in our row, we're going to knit one. So from here, we're just going to work in stockinette. So we'll knit one row and purl one row until we've reached our desired length for our button band. So you could do more rows to make a wider band or just do a couple repeats to make a smaller band. And that's how you knit the Victorian boot button loop. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.